Greetings tankers, my name is Adam Snellgrove and welcome to Best Replays, the show in which you submit thousands of replays and we inevitably end up with a tortoise in every episode. So with that spoiler out of the way, let's get straight into it. And in third place, it is yet again another tortoise. You lot really seem to be enjoying this tank as of late, since almost every one of our episodes has featured it so far. And this week, it's Cookie's turn to show us how they earn their bread and butter here on Siegfried Line. Ha! Huh, who would win? A hull down a mill? Or one armor piercing composite rigid boy? However, when it comes to this particular E75, even the good old AP will do the trick. Ooh -hoo! Unfortunately, Cookie's armor just crumbles at the sight of these heat shells as the WZ lands a hit. But unfortunately, it has now turned into one of those standoffs. with no enemies willing to engage our tough nut, while the allies keep bleeding precious HP. But with the enemies pressuring the town, Cookie has to whisk away to a better defensive position. And assist the final remaining platoon mate, surviving on just 100 HP. Now that's teamwork! And perfect timing too, as this T-10 was just about to arrive on the scene as the M3Y explodes. Phew! That was easier than expected! But there's no sugarcoating it now. Cookie and the E-75 stand virtually alone against six enemy tanks that can almost taste the win. The E-75 is taken out and Cookie now faces overwhelming odds in almost melee range. Whoa! Talk about being filling in an Oreo sandwich! What?! And another kill! Wow, what an insane fight! That was a one versus four in the most dire circumstances, and it's our hero that comes out on top. Though the does not beg just yet. But a bounce from the SU pretty much seals its fate. Uh, well, that was awkward. Those 500 could have been vital, as now Fortune needs to favour Cookie in the final showdown against the remaining enemy RT. Ha! Huh. Nowhere to be seen. I guess the base capture is the only viable option, with just two and a half minutes remaining. Two six one. Whoa! And that's the way the cookie crumbles. The two six one connects an HE shell, and Cookie survives on just twenty six HP to win the game. What a drama! A lovely game in which our pastry-inspired hero claimed an unlikely Kolobolov's medal as well as a Radley Walters. 
dealing a respectful 7,855 damage with 8 kills and 1,906 base experience. But a closer look also reveals that Cookie's platoon were responsible for 14 kills in total. A great effort for which we award our hero 2,000 gold and of course our best replay style. Congratulations! Up next, we've got a legendary tank that needs no introduction, but I'm going to give it anyway. It is the E100 Super Heavy Tank in the hands of Huno Magia 77, with an interesting looking camouflage. I'm not sure how this paint scheme is supposed to hide you from anyone, but hey, who am I to judge? As Huno Magia 77 gets into position and waits for the enemy to make the first move. Maybe... Uh, nope. Finally! It only took four minutes to Huno Magia 77 to get some kind of damage on the board. And curiously, we're using the small 128mm gun in this battle. Trading alpha damage for superior accuracy and DPM. Seems like the enemies could not wait to get on the scoreboard either. Which does not turn out to be the wisest of moves for this IS-7. Leaving the superior super heavy victorious! At least for the moment. So unfortunate! But the TVP does not escape its fate this time. Oh, oh, oh what a cracking, tracking shot! Ouch! That was an AP shell from the Object 261, not something you see every day. Yeah, this is looking dicey to say the least. Ooh, outplayed! And a two for one! What a play by Huno Magyar! But here comes the TVP! And Huno Magyar uses the wreck of the 268 to take it out. This just gets better and better. Now, where's that T100 LT? Oh! Now just to find that final artillery. And avoid catching another AP shell. There it is, as oblivious as an ostrich with its head buried in the sand. GG! The Great Berlin Brawl ends in a victory for the green team with Huno Magyar 77 scoring a Color Bunnuffs medal, along with 8,837 damage, 9 kills and 1,677 base experience. It's always great to see an old school tank like an E100 Dominator game, so for this replay we award Huno Magyar 77 with 2,500 gold and our style. Well done! And for the best replay of this week, we are staying at tier 10 with an STB1 and I... I'm not that le incredible. <sighs> Kids these days and their nicknames. Anyway, we shall just name you George for the remainder of the replay. 
George finds themselves assaulting the enemy on Ghost Town, driving straight into the middle of the town. Taking the fight to the enemy right off the bat, exposing only strong turret armor. Okay, maybe not as strong as I expected it to be. However, this Super Conqueror is now paying a hefty price for their previous transgressions. and 200 damage for a single shot of damage taken, now that's what I call stonks. Seeing the enemies on the run, George wastes no time getting back into the action. Just obliterating the enemy team with shot after shot as the purples just have no answer. Even this T-30 at under 100 meters presents no threat for an STB popping in and out of cover. Looks like someone has finally had enough of George's uncontested damage farm. Yeah, that worked out well for you, 704, didn't it? Whoa, there's just no shortage of targets for George. However, even the mightiest of warriors knows when to retreat. And for our STB, that time is now. Oh, and another well-timed tracking shot. Get wrecked, T-30. A move which once again sets up George in a perfect spot against this E-75. There's just no stopping George. Oh, whoa, spoke too soon. First mistake of the game and the STB is instantly down to just 300 HP at the mercy of any remaining enemy. Luckily for George, the enemies have just about ran out of guns as the allies mop up what's left. But even with victory being imminent, one wouldn't say no to some more free damage, right? All that remains is just one pattern versus six allies. And while this would be one hell of a replay had the pattern turned the game around. Oh wait, what? That was certainly unexpected as the pattern connects their shot and our hero is done for. Nevertheless, the win is secured moments later and George can celebrate an incredible victory. Dealing 11,756 damage all alone with 6 kills and 1,660 base experience. All of that in just 7.5 minutes of gameplay. A ferocious game which grants our hero the title of best replay, 3,000 gold and our style. Just uh, think about that nickname until next time, will ya? Congratulations! And we are at the end of another week and another episode, dear tankers. Yet again, we must part ways on the screen, but certainly not in the comments section. Let us know which replay impressed you the most, or possibly the least. Who knows? And as always, keep sending in your replays. The more, the merrier. It's like candy. We can never have enough of those. And on that bombshell, I'm Adam Snellgrove, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheerio! Wow, what? <coughs> Sorry.